Hello guys, how are we doing today? Welcome back to our channel and welcome to this video. I want to believe you're doing good, I want to believe you're doing great. In this video, we're going to be doing an analysis of XAUUSD, that is gold, and what to expect from the market this week. If you're just coming across our videos, you're just coming across our channel, I want to say welcome, it's good to have you. What you want to do right now is click on the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell because we release videos like this almost every day, letting our viewers know what to expect from the market per time, and you don't want to miss out on any of such videos. Now let's get straight into the business of this video. Last week when we did our analysis on gold, the market was here, and we did say that the market would go bullish, and we had the market buy a bit on Monday, which was this. It was a small bullish move then, on Tuesday after the release of the news on um, CPI, we had the market sell and you could see till the end of okay, till Thursday the market was selling and on Friday we had a little sell then the market but anyway, let's start our analysis on the monthly time frame. Now on the monthly time frame we can see that gold has been selling consistently then um, two months ago we had the market get to this region which is a strong support region and we did say that the market will buy and it bought ended here as a hanging man then the next month which was um, August last month and it bought a little you can see the week here before it started selling then this month of September and we can see that it's still in session gold has been selling consistently for about i think six six or seven months now then let's see the weekly time frame on the weekly time frame we can see like i said um the market has been selling consistently since around here it has been selling then um two weeks ago we had the market end as a doji and this doji occurred after a bearish candle then um last week we had the market sell down here now let me let us know in case you did not notice that um last week gold got to 1654 which is the lowest point it has ever been in the last two years since after it broke since when it went bullish from here it has not gotten to 1654 here was i think 1670 and 75 or so this region then it bought again and here was i think that's about 1675 or 1673 then it bought again so last week was the first time we had gold getting to 1654 after a pretty long time so let's also consider the daily time frame On the daily time frame, you can see how the movement of the market has been. It has been more of a downtrend. We've seen lower lows and lower highs until here. So on Friday, the market ended as a small bullish candle. Then let's see the 4 hours time frame. On the 4 hours time frame, we we'll see the market selling consistently. I think we had this little buy. This should be... Um, this should be Monday, then Tuesday, this was Tuesday, after the release of the news on CPI, we had the market sell significantly and it was selling that way till, I think, um, Friday morning. Now, what do we expect from the market this week? That's what this video is about. Now, for several weeks, now, I think three, three to four weeks, we've seen on the weekly time frame that gold has gotten to the oversold region it has been on the oversold region here it was at the oversold region before it bought again and so again we're expecting the market to make a double bottom here on the weekly time frame only for it to sell again last week then um the daily time frame has been on the oversold region I mean, when it's bought from here, we had the market sell again, and around here, it's it has it got to the oversold region on Thursday before on Friday we had 
um, the market start buying or let's say even Friday midnight we had the market still selling started buying on Friday afternoon now what do we expect from the market this week now look at the daily time frame the market ended here as a bullish arami which is a bullish reversal candlestick pattern and it means the market should go bullish then the weekly time frame I want you to see this that the market made a bearish move after a dodgy and like I said before it got to 1654 which is quite a significant low region meaning that it slightly broke the strong support region slightly broke the strong support region and um, four hours time frame has gotten to the got to the oversold region then we could see the four hours made a bullish candle here making this a bullish engulfing bar then it turned a simple moving average cross over the candlestick and the last candle was a small bullish candle now this also proposes that the market will go bullish now this is what i'm expecting from the market this week or let's say probably beyond this week look at the weekly time frame let me draw this trend line now we can see from here that the market has been making this the weekly time frame now you can see that the market has been making lower lows and lower highs meaning that the market is on a downtrend then when the market comes to this region this is a support region it buys again and sells when it gets here it buys again now look here remember i just said that the market broke the strong support region slightly slightly broke this strong support region so and if, let me zoom in here let me zoom in here so we can also see this clearly you can see that this small candle is a bullish candle and this is a bearish candle a big bearish candle so we could want to call this a bearish engulfing bar and this is happening or this occurring on a support region I need you to follow me as I'm going. A bearish engulfing bar occurring on a strong support region, and the market has been making um, have been making a downtrend that's making lower lows and lower highs. So two things are likely to happen, and of course we have to follow them gradually. The four hours time frame is proposing that the market is going bullish. Daily time frame also proposing the same fact. So the market is likely to go bullish till it comes in contact with the 10 day simple moving average on the daily time frame which should happen around so when this occurs we are going to observe the market to see if there be sufficient buying pressure to push above this region and close above the 10 day simple moving average then we will say that the market is going bullish so look at the 4 hours time frame So about this region now when this occur we are going like I said we are going to observe to see if the market if there is sufficient buying pressure to close above the 10 day simple moving average but if there be no sufficient buying pressure and it gets in contact with the 10 day simple moving average then makes a bearish move then the market is likely to sell again till it comes to this um, this support region you can see it's going to come make another lower low and we're going to have um another low meaning that the market has finally broken this support region then we'll now look forward to another bullish move that will come back to this um support region we will now turn a resistance I hope you get me but this is what's likely to happen so we'll have to observe the market firstly when the market opens we could want to go bullish and like I said our target is going to be um, 1700.78 around that region then when that is achieved we're going to observe to see if there be sufficient buying pressure to go beyond that region 
or if sellers are waiting around that region to push the market down again so we're going to trade what the market presents to us and not what we think it should be so that's what we're expecting from the market this week if you have any question you can use the comment section if you have a different opinion you can also use the comment section and we'll be glad to have a conversation with you like we always say trading is a highly risky endeavor you don't want to venture into trading without proper knowledge if you want to register for our complete forex training we'll give beginners to advanced classes ebooks and lifetime mentorship check the description of this video you're going to see a link where you can register for our complete forex training and if you want to subscribe for a signal service we'll give proper entry stop loss and take profit also check the description of this video you're going to see a link where you can subscribe for our signal service and if you want to get a copy of my book trading without tears check the description of this video you're going to see a link where you can get a soft copy if you want a hard copy send us a direct message to any of our social media handles tell us your location we'll tell you the cost of shipping it once your payment is confirmed you have the book delivered to you so that's it from us on this video i hope you got value see you in the next video bye for now